Hey guys, I'm Greg. This is Greg's Beer Review. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Alright guys, today's beer is Who Garden. This beer is a Belgian style ale that's pale and cloudy in appearance being due to unfiltered and a high level of wheat and sometimes oat that's used in the mash. It's uh, it's always not it's always spiced generally with coriander and orange peel but uh, some other people put oddball spices and herbs in the background to, to change it around a little bit so it's a, it's a crisp beer with a slight twang uh, comes from the from the wheat and the, uh, the level of carbonation that's in the beer uh, a lot of the uh, people here in the United States have liked this style of beer here recently uh, the Belgians have become more and more popular so uh, it's often referred, referred to as the, the white beer uh, due to the cloudiness of the yeast in suspension. So this alcohol, this, this beer has an alcohol content uh, of around 4, 4.9%, somewhere in that area right there. So uh, let's get it cracked open and uh, see what it smells and, and looks and tastes like. Alright guys, let's give it in a glass here. Oh, that's looking pretty good. Right. As you can see, it has a cloudy haze to it. It is a golden. It's not. It's a little hazier and lighter than straw color. It's a pretty pale, pale color there. Uh, it almost looks like like apple juice or something uh, in there with a little carbonation. It's a. Uh, it's really weak looking. I mean, uh, even the macro lagers, the Bud Wires and the Bud Lights have a little more straw golden color than this does, but well, it didn't get any head at all. I mean, it didn't pour any head whatsoever. So let's uh, take a smell and see what it smells like. I smell a little coriander and orange peel. Pretty citrusy too. A little bready aroma to it. Well, let's take a drink and see what we got. That's pretty good. That'd be super on a day. As soon as you get through working in the yard or cutting the grass, that'd be a really good refreshing beer. Yeah, that'd be really good. Let me take another. Boy, guys, that's really good. Uh, they recommend the uh, the glass to drink this with, the pint glass or the uh, the tumbler or the mug. Uh, it's not recommended for extended cellaring because of the low alcohol. The food pairings would be uh, cheeses, pepper, Monterey, pepper jack, uh, uh, brick cheese, uh, the feta cheeses. Uh, it would probably go good. It's so light, it go good with salads. Uh, the meat would be poultry and fish and shellfish is what they say, but like I said, uh, on most of these summertime beers that I drink, that they go, go go well with burgers and stuff too, steaks, chops, so uh, I'm going to sip on this for a little bit and uh, we'll be back with the final grade in a few minutes. Alright guys, I'm back as you can see, all I got left is a little, little bit here. Uh, like I said, this would be a good summertime beer. It's, uh, it's nothing superb or special about it. Uh, I would say that the head dies out really, really quick once you pour the beer. And uh, like I said, it almost looks like a juice. Got very little head left here. So uh, let me get the final sip here, and I'll tell you what I think. That's a good refreshing beer for a hot summer day. If you're outside working and stuff. Uh, It'd be a good one to try. Uh, it's available year round. You can get it uh, uh, in most of, most of the states. So uh, give it a try. See what you think of it. If you've had it, uh, tell me what you thought of it. If you haven't had it, give it a try. Leave me a comment. As always, subscribe. I say this beer gets about an 82 on the scale today. So uh, join us next time on the Beer Reviews. See you next time, guys.